What's up YouTube? It's David with Jones Company Customs here and I am super excited to tell you guys that finally my Millwright Mega VCNC router machine is here. Um, I'm super excited about this. It's April 22nd. I placed this order on February 6th. So it's been about two and a half months since I pulled the trigger on this to today and me getting the first shipment. Um, I got two boxes today. I think there's going to be four boxes total. So in the next day or two, hopefully tomorrow, I'm expecting the rest of this and I can get to work assembling this machine. Um, like I said, it took about two and a half months for it to get here. Um, for those of you that are thinking about buying uh, this particular machine, I don't want that to discourage you. Um, I did. I fully anticipated on waiting that amount of time. Um, this was a huge part of Millwright's Kickstarter. It was a huge Kickstarter for them. Um, they sold a lot of models. There was a lot of orders ahead of me, and I'm part of several forums and Facebook groups that are focused solely on this particular model. And every day I see people posting that they're, they are getting their machines. If, if you have one and you haven't gotten yours yet, be patient. It's coming. Um, I exchanged a couple emails with who I'm assuming is Derek from Millwright, but um, the whoever runs their support email and uh, I think once or twice I, I talked to them and you know just for updates to see when things were going to be getting here um, but uh, it, it did come you know just be patient and it'll all come um, yeah this is this is a good portion of, of the stuff so far I'm really happy to have at least this much I'm super excited this is going to be a big part of the YouTube channel we're going to be doing a lot of CNC stuff um, time lapses, how to's, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I can't wait to see all the cool things that we're going to make with this machine. But um, I'm going to come grab the camera and I'll give you guys a rundown on what all we got here. All right, so over here we have the drag chains. We got three of the drag chains that run along these gantry rails. And uh, that's what all the wires and, and stuff run through that powers the motors. Got the gantry rails over here, uh, three of them. This is the 35 by 35 XL model. So um, yeah, they're they're pretty good size. It's actually it's really cool to see see these things up close in person in real life and just see how big they are because this is this is going to be a pretty good size machine I think. Um, I checked out all the threads, all the holes that they had threaded on the end of these gantry rails. Uh, both sides, top and bottom, you know, I checked them all out and, and they all look like pretty decent threading. So, uh, uh, one, the only blemish I could find on any of this is if, if you look right there, there's a pretty good nick there, but you know, nothing that a little bit of flat filing or can't take care of. I don't think that's going to affect performance in any way. That slot there is completely intact, so I'm not really that worried about it. Um, right here we have these uh, the steel gantry plates, and I'm pretty sure these are all quarter inch steel. I know they're very heavy. I mean, if you pick this this package up right here, it you can definitely tell it's got some weight to it. It's no joke right there. And that's that's one advantage I think that uh, this Mega V or Millwright machine has versus like the Shape Oko XXL or the the uh, X Carve machine. You know. Their gantry plates and their material are all a lot thinner material than what this Millwright is. And that was a huge selling point for me. I want a machine that's going to be built to last. It's going to be rigid enough to to handle all the, the stuff I'm going to throw at it and be able to, you know, do things more than just carve and plywood, essentially. But uh, this... this uh, Package right here are uh, labeled motors. I'm assuming this is uh, the stepper motors that that drive the the gantry, the gantries and and move the machine around. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. This is this is unlabeled. Uh, along with this here, this one is unlabeled. I'm not sure what those are. Probably going to be leaving most of this stuff in the package until it's time to assemble. Um, I just I don't want to be losing pieces or or get this this stuff disorganized. There's there's a lot of pieces here, so I, I'm probably going to leave them all wrapped up until it's time to assemble. Um, this bag over here is uh, it's got the router mount, lots of wire wiring, all the hardware. Uh, the, the wheels, the gantry wheels and stuff. Um, 
Yeah, that, it just looks like general hardware. Looks like there's a ball screw for the Z axis, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, that's just general hardware, I think. Back here we have the uh, DeWalt the DWP611 router, which is pretty self explanatory. Most of you guys know what a router is. Uh, the control box, so 3X with laser. Um, so yeah, this is just the, the electronics control box. Probably has a, the board that has all the pins on it for all the um, all the stepper, the driver steppers and stepper drivers. I'm sorry, and and all that. Um, so yeah, it's just the electronics control box that interfaces with the machine and the computer you plug up to it. Uh, <clears throat> this is the laser. Um, I opted for the laser upgrade. And I'm really excited about that. Those are probably laser safety glasses, uh, wiring. There's a JTEC photonic sticker in there. That will probably go over here on the mini fridge. But, uh, yeah, the laser's really cool. I'm hoping to... Uh, that's probably one of the first things I'm going to do with this thing, as a matter of fact. Probably going to do a little carving first, but the laser is... Probably not going to take that long for me to start playing around with that. I'm really excited about that. So yeah, we got lasers, we got routers, we got hardware, we have gantry rails. The Millwright Mega V is here, and I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. Can't wait to build a lot of cool stuff. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. I will keep you guys updated as more pieces and parts roll in, and as we assemble and get this get this baby rolling i will keep you guys posted every step of the way thanks for tuning in hit that like button please subscribe to my channel help us grow please share this channel if you know people that are interested in cnc machines or chainsaws or anything really that that i'm doing we're going to be doing some a lot of different stuff then uh just you know share the channel thanks for uh checking it out guys have a good night Bye bye